Keep us back in 2020 with more fun Easter eggs for owners to discover. Found all over your Jeep, both inside and out, let's see what's new this year and what we can find. Because some are easy to spot, while others just may startle you if you didn't know what to expect. So starting with the Gladiator, Jeep's newest model in the lineup, one of the easier Easter eggs to spot is the Hart 419 in the back. If you're from Ohio, you may recognize that as Toledo's area code. And this is a nod to their factory there and its workers, where Jeep's been since 1945 and where the Gladiator is currently manufactured. On the shift knob, you got this Gladiator emblem highlighting its unique truck bed, which is new for the brand. Now compare that to the traditional Jeep emblem, like here along the rim. That's the old Jeep Willys from World War II. And it's one of the most common Jeep Easter eggs. This silhouette profile can typically be found on the windshield of several models. Another common Easter egg is the seven slot grill. The Gladiator has one in the back of the truck bed that you can almost miss due to the size. If we take a look at the Renegade, there's seven slot grills all over. Here in the headlight, the tail light, on the housing behind the rear view mirror, along the hatch, floor mats, and on the speakers. You can also find this topography map of Moab, Utah here in the bottom center console, which is a favorite of Jeep enthusiasts. Anytime you see a Jeep commercial driving through these canyons and red rocks, that's Moab. The Renegade also features a throwback to the old jerry cans used to transport water and gasoline during wartime. You can see this X design in the cup holders and the tail lights as well. The mud splatter, or paintball splatter as some call it, can be found on your tachometer. Since 1941 is there on the Renegade dashboard or at the base of the steering wheel in the Cherokee. Along the plastic side rails, Jeep etched no step in aircraft style to avoid mistaking these for running boards because they're fragile. Now if you look closely at the ignition, you can see to new adventures written underneath for that little bit of inspiration when you get behind the wheel. Then there's this spider near the gas cap saying ciao baby on several different Jeep models as a nod to Italian automaker Fiat, as well as acting as a possible deterrent for any real desert critters like spiders or scorpions that can sometimes get into the fuel system and cause problems. Along the back window in the Renegade, you got Bigfoot hiking up some rocks. Why Bigfoot, you may ask? Well, how about the Loch Ness Monster inside the Jeep Compass? Maybe it's Jeep's subtle way of creating their own myth. The Compass also includes a little passenger you may not have known was hitching a ride all this time, but this gecko can be found resting along the plastic molding at the base of the windshield. This four-legged wingman is another sort of inspiration for Jeep, as these warm climate lizards are known for their ability to climb and grip different surfaces, and it also points you to the VIN number. In the same area, on the Wrangler JL, Jeep included a pair of sandals, and with it maybe a subtle suggestion to kick your shoes off and get to the beach more often. It's also thought to be a tip of the hat to writer-editor Rick Payway at Four Wheeler and JP Magazine an all-around Jeep enthusiast known for doing trails in his Jeep in just his flip-flops. The JL also added an interesting Easter egg in the back. Underneath the JL logo, you see those little dots? That says JL in Morse code. On the compass, the Morse code is more prominent here on the dead pedal. Going from left to right, it says sand, snow, rivers, rocks. Pretty cool. Also on the compass, you can find this little emblem here, known as the Jeep Project logo, as earlier versions of this Easter egg have included the word project underneath it. Another neat one that Jeep officials have been tight-lipped about. What do you think it means? And finally, the last Easter egg can be found inside the glove box on some Jeeps featuring adaptive cruise control. The shovel and pickaxe on this lunchbox looking item is believed to pay homage to some of the much needed tools that U.S. soldiers were equipped with in their Jeeps. And you use this whole piece here to cover your adaptive cruise control sensor when removing the front windshield. So that's about it for the Easter eggs we found on our lot, but what have we missed? Let us know down in the comments below and tell us what Easter eggs you've discovered in your Jeep. Thanks for watching.